Welcome to Shawnee Union this week and we're on my balcony doing a review. And we'll be taking a look at the Nikon L35AF. I got this on loan from PJ De Jesus. I let him borrow my Olympus OM-1 um, with a 35 millimeter lens. And then he gave me this for a couple weeks to look at. So I wanted to compare this camera to the Canon AF35, which came about four or five years before it. This is Nikon's first autofocus point and shoot camera. Um, and maybe one of its earliest point autofocus cameras in general, but um, I want to do some comparisons with it and the Canon AF and the Canon 35 AF as well. First thing that the designs are really inspired by each other. So the Canon came out first. It is a black brick shaped camera and the Nikon is also a black brick shaped camera. One thing that's a little better in terms of design, um, the Canon lens sticks out a little bit more than the Nikon one. Not a huge issue, but it does make the Nikon one a little bit more portable. Um, when you wear it on both cameras, you wear it vertically like this. So one of the found is when you're walking around, it does kind of fly up like this. So I didn't like that. But you could put it over your shoulder too. In terms of design, I like it the on and off switch on the Nikon better than the Canon. The Canon has this super small dial. It's really hard to get a hold of. The Nikon has a really nice on and off switch. Um, the Nikon also has a really big clear viewfinder that's really easy to use. And then another cool feature on the Nikon right here is exposure compensation. So you do get a little bit more control with this camera. So in use, I like the Nikon a little bit more than the Canon. A little bit easier to hold around. Um, autofocus is a little bit more accurate for me. I also had less issues. The autofocus on this sticks a little bit, so if it can't shoot, um, it'll block um, shots. This one didn't have that issue. And then also, um, just all around way more quiet as well. So when you're shooting this in your crowd, you're not going to hear many people turn around. Remember, if you'll hear the shutter go off. So the last thing I considered was image quality between the two cameras. And so the Nikon is a um, 35, millimeter, 35 millimeter f2.8. The Canon is a 40 millimeter f1.9. Um, so you get an extra couple stops in this guy. And that makes a huge difference. So when I, looked, when I look at images between a point and two cameras, I really don't look at clarity, but I really look at um, character. And I really like the character of the images coming out of the Nikon camera. They were a little bit punchier um, and it had to do less contrast adjustment, less level adjustment on the back end. So I do like um, having a more contrasty image and I also like the way the Canon handled uh, colors better. So the, the image quality goes to the Canon and, and its lens. Even though I've heard a lot of great things about the Nikon lens, the images were just a little bit too flat for me. So in conclusion, um, the Nikon is way easier to use in terms of camera. I think it's the better overall camera, but when you talk about cameras, the thing you have to think about the most is image quality. And so I would give the nod to the Canon image quality, but I don't think you could go wrong with either one. I know the Nikon is more expensive, but um, if you do want something easy to use, ergonomically built better, which is a better, a better built camera overall, I'd go with the Nikon. But if you want that image quality and you don't care about the autofocus noise, the Canon's a great option too. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, remember to like it. And um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Also, uh, check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I will see you guys again next week. Thank you. Bye. Oofed.